Hello everyone, you're welcome to my channel. This is Feli Lefe, your girl from Uganda. This is my first time doing a YouTube video. Guess what? My first topic is going to talk about my experience during the total lockdown. I wasn't prepared for a total lockdown, neither was I prepared for a lockdown. The lockdown came first before the total lockdown. And the the lockdown affected me this way. I'm a final year student at university in Uganda. Schools were stopped from learning. I got affected because I was supposed to do my exams during April, early April, and finish them in July. Unfortunately, that did happen. And the school tried everything possible so that we can do exams. Unfortunately, all that was in vain which stressed me as a student. I feel so stressed. In addition to that, my small project that I was working on, like side hustling, also got affected due to the total lockdown that came after the lockdown. This is where the tr public transport was stopped from working. The borders, the taxis were stopped from working which was really challenging on my side. So I couldn't move and monitor my small project. However, I adjusted by making phone calls, though it wasn't easy, you know. Someone who has ever done a business, they can understand what I'm talking about. So, the following days, during those challenging days, I got so stressed. I started waking up late. I started waking up uh, at around <laughs> at around 11. Don't laugh. That is years of me. At around 11, and also sleeping late. What was I doing during that period? I was watching series and movies. Can you imagine? The whole of your time is taken up by series and movies because of stress. I thought about the decision that I had made and I told myself this is unserious of me. I have to change. How am I going to adjust? How am I going to prepare myself even during this period when I'm still at home? What about after the doctor? Things were not were not really okay on my side. Hmm. Speaking about the 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 rapid number of deaths deaths which were happening worldwide, this really scared me. Now I I, I got to know that really coronavirus is real. I was so scared. He scared me. I was scared for myself. I was scared for my family. I was scared for my friends and everyone who was surrounding me, even my country. Because you know, when it comes to health, we are still improving. We are not yet there. However, the good thing, God is still protecting us and we are still protecting us when the, 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 the pandemics packed up. So I told myself that I have to wake up I have to wake up early. I started waking up early at around eight, eight sharp. I go do exercises. Exercise which kind of exercise was I doing? I was jogging, doing road work with friends. Of course we are wearing masks for protection and keeping the social distance following the guidelines of the government concerning this pandemic. Secondly, I read books. Um, I read a, a, a book called Profit of Circles of Circle of Profit. It's a digital marketing book. I read about uh, building a solid business. That is a Ugandan book, based in Uganda. I read about um, I read about um, basics in digital marketing. Those are the books I was reading through this season. 
challenging season. So, I also laid down rules on how I was going to overcome this stress that I was having. What am I supposed to, which skill should I add during this pandemic? Should I learn? You understand? So that by the time the lockdown is lifted, at least I would put use to that skill. You know, I'm, I'm this kind of person who believes in learning something and then you put it to use, to practice in other words. So that is what I did. Uh, I laid out goals and started working on them, you know, executing them. Next, I also I also didn't give up. Um, I didn't give up. I went on to share this experience with my neighbors. It's not easy to talk about your challenges. I had to share so that I can move out of this depression and stress. So I, I, I shared some of my challenges with my neighbors whom I hadn't. Like, I used not to talk to them frequently before because my schedule was kind of tight. I'm an evening student. I, I, I would go to, to check on my project during the day and then go to school and come back at night. Everyone, you would find everyone back in their houses. So you would just say hello to the few whom you could find. And this is the time when I got to interact with them. I got to know them. It was so refreshing. So I believe in myself. I didn't give up. I told myself that I can do this. I also believe in, in the God that I'm serving. That He can He can uh, help me go through this challenging situation and turn into a positive one. So I kept on moving on positively and uh, so what I want to encourage you, my viewers, my fans, that never give up even in this hard situation. Know that your today doesn't determine your tomorrow. If to, to, your today is stressing, is challenging, just know your tomorrow will change. Things won't last unless you are the one who has that mentality that things will, will always remain the same, which is very bad. You need to change that mentality. Be positive. Be patient. Be patient. If you are patient, things will come in. It will come the way you want them to, to come. Or will, you will succeed in one way or another. But if you try rushing things, you will find that you are using a lot of energy for nothing. You understand? But when you are patient, you are able to, to do everything. Within, within the time that is there and you won't need to rush and everything will go your way mm -hmm. um, that is all I have for you comment down below let me know whether you like this video share your experience in the comments feel free to share your experience never know someone something from your experience like subscribe and comment once again this is your girl Feli Life from Uganda bye